Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited because I've been talking about starting a YouTube channel for entirely way too long. So I wanted to make my first video on something that I make frequently and it involves food and I'm super excited. It is my cereal and milk protein fluff bowl. Um, so let's just get into it. What you're gonna need, um, I use a Nutribullet. Uh, Nutribullet is life, it's bay. I use it every day. Um, if you don't have a Nutribullet, I'm not exactly sure how the amounts of the ingredients is gonna affect the consistency. Um, so I highly recommend a Nutribullet if you do not have one. Uh, next is cereal. I'm gonna be using the strawberry frosted Pop-Tart cereal. It's the only cereal I have left and it's pretty good. So we're gonna use that one. Uh, I also use cashew milk and ghost cereal milk whey. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put ice in a cup. Uh, I'm gonna go fill it up and I'll show you how much I use. So this is how much ice I use. It's quite a bit, but it kind of makes that thick consistency that you want. Next is going to be 6 ounces of milk. And I just use one of these blender cups because I can like evenly bend, blend the protein and I can accurately measure how much milk. So 6 ounces of milk. Next is going to be the protein. Pro tip, put your container on the scale and tear it to zero. That way you can just pull out as much as you want and you don't have to use a bowl or a cup to pour it in. It's just easier. So I'm going to use a full scoop of whey. Pour that in. Now we're gonna shake it up. pour it over my ice. Um, one of the ingredients, I don't think I mentioned this, uh, I use about three grams of xanthan gum. This is a key ingredient in your fluff bowl because it's what's gonna fluff everything up. Um, so a little bit goes a long way. I'll show you how much I end up using. So this is three grams. I don't know if you can see that. It's not much. Just put it on top. Now we blend. So I just put the uh, Nutribullet top Now, I will warn you, the blending is obnoxiously long. Um, I'd say at least a minute to two minutes of blending, so everything's blended up and thickened. I think it's good. Okay. So, now we have our fluff. Um, just take the top off nice and easy. I usually get a spatula to get it all out. Oh, baby. 
you can see the consistency here. Mm. And then I just take a spatula, go on one side. Wow. Wow. I don't know why I'm always like so surprised when I make this. I'm like, oh my God, look at this consistency. But like, this is how it comes out every time. It's like, I shouldn't be so surprised. So I just scrape the sides, get all that in there. So now we have the base. Let me show you. So this is what it's looking like. It really should just be just like ice cream, you know? And now we add the cereal. So I program, I mean, you can use whatever cereal you like and however much you like. Um, since this is my pre-work or post-workout meal, I am having, I think I just got some on my shirt. Anyway, I'm having more cereal kind of than I normally would just because I just had a leg day and carbs are high. So I'm gonna put 50 grams of cereal. So now that the cereal's in there, this is kind of what, what it's looking like. It's basically just like a huge bowl of cereal, but like ice cream. Whether I'm dieting or not, this is a go-to for me because it satisfies my sweet tooth. It's high in protein, low in fat, tons of volume. Like this is gonna fill me up. And it's just like, Super easy to make. So. I hope you enjoyed this little instructional video. Comment down below what other type of videos you'd like to see from me. I kind of want this channel to be more geared towards, you know, making food and fitness and just living a healthy lifestyle. So. I hope that you got something from this video and uh, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.